The text tool is the 11th tool in the toolbar. If you tap on it, you will see that there are actually two text tools. The art text tool and the text frame tool. To be honest, working with text in Designer on iPad has not been my favorite experience, but I'll tell you about these tools anyway. The artistic text tool lets you drag out to determine the size you want the text to be. Whereas, if you could select the text frame tool, you drag out to select the size that the text frame will be. Both tools bring up the keyboard so that you can type. In addition to having the keyboard, when you're selected on text, you also get a text toolbar along the top of the keyboard that will allow you to do formatting options such as changing the font, text has to be highlighted in order to change it, you highlight text by dragging across it. Sometimes it's a little difficult to get the first letter that you drag on, and then you can adjust the way that the text looks. You can adjust the justification of the text, the decoration of the text, and also use commands like cut, copy, and paste. Most of the formatting options can also be found in the text studio that we'll talk about in the next course. That's it for the text tool for today. Next we will talk about the color picker tool.